Hello everyone, I am Roshni. I welcome you all to our channel Best Notes Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn extremely important MCQs from the novel Anna Karenina. Let me tell you that this is a Russian novel and the writer is Leo Tolstoy. So let's begin with the first MCQ. The first question in my list is, who was Alexei Alexandrovich Karenin? Let me repeat, who was Alexei Alexandrovich Karenin? Your options are, option A, the writer of the novel, that is Leo Tolstoy. Option B, the military officer who loved Anna. Option C, the brother of Anna Karenina, option D, the senior statesman and Anna's husband. So the right answer is option D, the senior statesman and Anna, Anna's husband. Anna Karenina is the main heroine or the protagonist of the novel and her husband is senior statesman. Okay, he holds higher position and when his wife starts affair with another person that is military officer Vronsky, he starts having a lot of problems because his status will be questioned. Okay, so he tries all his measures but he fails. Eventually, Anna had to surrender. Okay, so your option D is the correct answer. Alexandri Sorry, Alexei Alexandrovich Karenin is the husband of Anna Karenina. Let's begin. Sorry, let's continue with question number two. The question is, what was the problem between Steva and Dolly? What was the problem between Steva and Dolly? Option A, adultery. Option B, financial issues. Option C, family clash and option D, none of the above. So, let me tell you, Steva and Dolly, they were husband and wife and Steva had affair with a French governess and not only that, he had affair, affairs with so many women. Therefore, Dolly, his wife, could not tolerate it this time. Therefore, she asked for a divorce and... Uh, your answer is option A, that is adultery. Okay. Our next question is, who were the brothers of Konstantin, Kosta, Dmitrovich, Levin or Leovin? Levin and Leovin. Only the spelling is different, but the person is same. Let me repeat. Who were the brothers of Konstantin, Kostya, Dmitrovich, Levin, Leovin. Your options are option A, Nikolai Dmitrovich, Levin, Leovin, and Sergei Ivanovich, Konzinesev. Option B, Vronsky and Steva. Option C, Johnson and Tom. Option D, Abraham and Benito. So here, option A is correct because Nikolai Dmitrovich Levin was his younger brother and Sergei Ivanovich is elder brother. Okay, and when we see on option B, Vronsky, this is military officer who had affair with Anna Karenina and Steva is Anna Karenina's brother. Okay, and Steva and Vronsky, they are friends. Okay, they are friends, Vronsky and Steva. In the novel, there is no mention of Johnson and Tom. These are imaginary options and option D as well. So, option A is the correct answer. Let's move to the next question. Next question is, how many children did Dolly and Steva have? How many children did Dolly and Steva have? We know Dolly and Steva, they are husband and wife who belong to Oblonsky family. 
okay oblonsky family so how many children they had they had option a five children or option b six option c four and option d two so here option b is the correct answer that is six so uh, in the starting of the novel they had five children but later on uh, when they patch up because of Anna Karenina, they had one more. So altogether, they had six children. All right, but because of uh, the six children's delivery, Dolly had lost her health. Okay, she was ill, and because of her uh, illness, she was not able to keep herself up most of the times. And here we find Dolly and Steva both have contradictory personalities. Dolly is ill, but Steva is active and healthy. Dolly has to do all the household chores, and uh, Steva he was engaged in outside affairs. Okay, and Steva, even though he loves his children, he doesn't want to do the things which binds him in the house. Whereas Dolly, she is a very good housewife dedicated a uh, wife who does everything for her husband and when she learns that steva is having affair with other women she gets very much disheartened and angry too and then decides to have uh, a divorce but that was saved by anna karenina uh, when she convinces dolly and she asks to forgive steva for his mal Deeds, deeds. Let's move to the next question. Whom did Levin marry? Whom did Levin marry? Option A, Dolly. Option B, Kitty. Option C, Anna. And option D, none of the above. So the right answer is option B, Kitty. Why not B? Sorry, why not A? Because A is Kitty's sister who is already married to Steva and they have six children okay anna is friend uh, anna is sister of steva and in law sister in law of dolly so the right answer is option b kitty levin marries kitty after some problem initially in the novel okay and after their marriage for some months they had problem but later on they became ideal pair for the entire novel our next question is mrs skechabatsky had chosen dash for kitty let me repeat mrs skechabatsky had chosen dash for kitty option a vronsky option b levin option c steva and option d nikolai Mrs. Skechabatsky is mother of Kitty and Dolly. Okay, Kitty and Dolly. Uh, she had chosen Steva, an aristocrat for her daughter Dolly. And therefore, she wanted another aristocrat for her daughter Kitty. Therefore, she had chosen Vronsky, who was a military officer. Okay, and who was dashing by looks. He had great personality and everybody loved him because he was a bachelor and he had a lot of money as a militant. So, Mrs. Skechabatsky has chose, had chosen Bronsky, but uh, because of faith, Levin had become Kitty's husband later on. So, here... She had chosen Vronsky for Kitty, but that was not successful. Okay, so in your answer, if you get this kind of option, you have to choose Vronsky. Let's move towards the next question. Vronsky volunteers for Dash War. Vronsky volunteers for Dash War. Option A, Crimean War. Option B, Franco-Turkish War. Option C, Russo-Poland War. Option D, Russo-Turkish War. So, your correct answer is option D, that is, Russo 
Turkish war. See, at that time, Russia was engaged in so many wars and so many problems were created in the border section. All right. So here, Ottoman uh, Empire's uh, acquisition and Turkish um, invasion. Okay, both are the uh, same. So he wanted to volunteer in this war. So he had gone for it. Option D is the correct answer, therefore. Next question is, Levin's brother Nikolai dies of? Levin's brother Nikolai dies of dash. Option A, jaundice. Option B, enemy's bullet. Option C, tuberculosis. And option D, heartbreak. So option A is not right. Option B is also not right because he was not a soldier. Option D is correct because he died of tuberculosis and not because of heartbreak because he was a strong-willed, he had become a strong-willed man later on. Okay, so option C is the correct answer. Tuberculosis is a disease because of which Levin's brother Nikolai, who was a drunkard and who was a wasteful person, dies okay and nikolai when he uh, sorry um, when he was about to die he considers that he had chosen wrong path and brothers are not to be blamed for the same and he says that he should be left uh, in his con with his condition in that way only because he doesn't want to trouble his brothers anymore so he had written a will all right, informal will where he had mentioned all this thing. So, option C is the right answer. Option, so next question. The novel shows life of dash. Option A, rural and city. Option B, aristocrats and commoners. Option C, Russian men and women. And option D, all of the above. So, we let's analyze one by one. In the novel, we find rural life and city life. Rural life is represented by Levin. Okay, he is doing all his might because he wants to uplift the farmers. He himself wants to impart knowledge towards agriculture to his uh, localites. And he wants to grow in village, not in city, even though he is a very hard-working person who has a lot of knowledge regarding agriculture, industries, etc. He doesn't want to spend his life in city. He wants rural life and he is happy in that. And city life is represented by Steva, Vronsky, uh, Karenin, etc. Okay, so option A is right. Let's see option B. Aristocrats and commoners. Aristocrats like... Steva, uh, Vronsky, and commoners like Levin, Nikolai, Ivanovich. All right. So option B is also right. Let's see in op option C. Russian men and women. Obviously, this is about Russian men who enjoyed privilege of roaming around and having a fair and not taking care of their family members. Whereas women, they had to be very much cautious regarding the uh, upbringing of their children. Okay, so option D is the correct answer. That is, all of the above options are correct. A, B, C. Let's move to the next question. Next question. What was irrational in Anna Karenina? What was irrational in Anna Karenina? What was irrational in Anna Karenina? Option A. She helped Steva's family from crumbling by adultery, but she herself indulged in the same. Option B. Criticizing Dolly for her looks and bad health. Option C. Not caring about her son and husband. Option D. None of the above. So, option A is right because... Steva, who is Anna Karenina's brother, okay, 
he had affair with a French governess. All right, and because of that, Dolly wanted a divorce from Steva. For that, Steva had sent a telegram to Anna Karenina to come to his house and convince Dolly to not to go for a divorce. Therefore, she had come and stopped the relationship. I mean, saved the relationship of Steva and Dolly. But she herself indulged in adultery with Vronsky. All right, Vronsky and Kitty were about to be together, but Vronsky got attracted to Anna and vice versa. Okay, so Anna Karenina spoils life of many by indulging herself in adultery. Therefore, option A sounds correct. Let's see option B. Criticizing Dolly. That is not correct because Dolly and Anna Karenina had wonderful relationship. Okay, it was just like sisters. Even though she was sister-in-law, but she was not like that. She was very much close to Dolly. So there is no point that Anna Karenina will criticize Dolly in any way. So that is not right. Option B is not right. Not caring about her son and husband. <clears throat> uh, she did not care about her son and husband. That is also not true because Anna Karenina took care of husband and son. All right. But because of some uh, issues, she had indulged in adultery. So, option A is correct and rest are wrong. What is Gems Woe? Next question is, what is Gems Woe? Gems Woe. Option A, representative of country councils founded in 1864 by Alexander II. Option 2. Option B, the law for the farmers. Option C, the leader of Russian Revolution. And option D, None of the above. So, what is Jemsvo? Jemsvo is option A, representative country, uh, sorry, county council founded in 1864 by Alexander II. Alright, it talked about self governance and uh, eradication of serfdom. So, your option A is right. Under the, let me tell you, under the governance of Alexander II, farmers improved a lot because he promoted agrarian culture. Next question is, what do you understand by IOU? Written by Nikolai. What do you understand by IOU? Written by Nikolai. Let me explain the question. See, I. OU was written by Nikolai when he was sick. He was on bed because of so many issues. Uh, he was a drunkard, all right, and he was a very wasteful child once upon a time. And this is the consequence of his deeds. He was ill, and nobody liked him uh, because of this illness. But because he was brother to Levin and uh, Ivanovich. He was taken care properly. Okay, even Levin's wife comes to take care of Nikolai. So, he had written a note to his brothers because he had seen that because of his illness, they are also suffering a lot. Okay, the money is being wasted and their time as well. Therefore, he had written one promissory note. Option A. It is formal Sorry, this is informal promissory note, not informal, informal. Okay, informal promissory note. Number B, the letter for Kitty asking to marry Levin. Option C, the warrant of the court, none of the above. So, IOU is a promissory note which said that Nikolai should be left alone and he should, he does not have any right over the property of Nikolai, sorry, of Levin and 
his elder brother Ivanovich. So, this was the note which was written by Nikolai and people had to obey this. This is not written in court paper but this is written on a normal paper but it will be valid. Okay, this will be valid and um, Nikolai did it because he took care of his brothers and he did not want them to trouble anymore. Next question. What was the full name of Vronsky? What was the full name of Vronsky? Your options are Option A. Alexei Kirillovich Vronsky Option B. Captain John Vronsky Option C. Lieutenant Levin Vronsky and Option D. None of the above. So here option A is right that is Alexei Kirillovich Vronsky. Okay, Alexei Kirillovich Vronsky. Throughout the novel you will know him only by his last name that is Vronsky. He was a militant. Alright, and uh, he had glorious personality with lots of money as well. So girls used to get attracted to him and he was also attracted to Kitty for marriage. But later on, he indulged with Anna Karenina because of her elegant beauty. Next question, who takes the custody of Anna's daughter? Who takes the custody of Anna's daughter? Let me explain the question a little bit. See, Anna Karenina had an affair with Vronsky even though she was married. She was married to Karenin. Alright, she was married to Karenin and she had an affair with Vronsky. Alright, Steva was sister, sorry, brother of Anna Karenina and Dolly was sister-in-law. Okay, so the right answer is Karenin. Karenin takes the custody of the daughter of Anna Karenina. Now you might think that what is the you, what is the point to, of taking custody when Karenin and Anna were married? Let me tell you, this daughter was of Ronsky. Okay, and that had happened through illegal relationship. Okay, illegal relationship. Therefore, Karenin, he had, he was changed because of religious attachment and uh, therefore he said that whatever mistakes Anna had done, he is ready to forget and accept her daughter in his family. So, option A is the right answer that is Karenin. Next question. What was the name of Anna Karenina's daughter? Option A, Dolly. Option B, Kitty. Option C, Dimitri. Option D, none of the above. So, Dolly, as we know, is daughter in... Sorry. Yes, daughter-in-law of... Sister-in-law of Anna Karenina. Sister-in-law of Anna Karenina and Kitty was Dolly's sister. Okay, Dolly's sister was Kitty. So, Dimitri is the right answer. Dimitri is the name of Anna Karenina's daughter. Okay, and father of Dimitri is Vronsky. Please remember, it's Vronsky. Who provoked Karenin to tell a lie to his son about his mother's death? I repeat, who provoked Karenin to tell a lie to his son about his mother's death? Option A, Lydia Ivanovna. Option B, Vernika. Option C, Kitty. And Option D, Dolly. So here, Option A is right, that is Lydia Ivanovna. Okay. So she was with Karenin in his troublesome time. Troublesome time means when Anna Karenina, that is wife of Karenin, had affair with Vronsky. Okay. So it was Lydia who stayed with 
Karenin and tried to provoke him. Vernika is a religious worker and under his under her supervision Kitty becomes very religious and she wants to abandon entire earthly benefits and enjoyments. Dolly is sister of Kitty so it's not appropriate. Here the right answer is Lydia Ivanovna. How did Anna try to communicate with society? Now see, Anna Karenina had broken the law of our society, their society, Russian society, by indulging herself in adultery. Okay, so she wanted to convey to the society that she is not wrong. She wanted to say that she is not happy with her husband. Therefore, she is asking for Bronsky to be husband but that will happen after the divorce and that was not being done by Karenin. Therefore she had problem but she wanted her society to accept her and through option A theater, option B phone, option C poster announcement and option D none of the above she tried to communicate. Now the answer is option A that is theater. In the theater there was function going on and Anna Karenina went to the stage and said everything that she had experienced in her life. Okay, so when Vronsky was chosen as, his, as her boyfriend, she had to face a lot of problems. Alright, so she wanted to clear, clear it with society through theatre mode but she was not accepted in theater as well nobody listened to her speech our next question is why had Levin loved Kitty more than before why had Levin loved Kitty more than before we know that Levin was in love with Kitty because she was pretty young girl of 18 years and she was a very good daughter as well so he had liking for Kitty. Alright. But that suddenly increased. When? Let me read the options. When she nursed his brother Nikolai warmly. Option B. She gave birth to a daughter. Option C. She helped him financially. Option D. None of the above. So the right answer is option A. That she nursed his brother Nikolai warmly. I told you that Nikolai was a drunkard. And... He was a wasteful child. Therefore, when he was sick, there were hardly any people who were around. So, Kitty had gone to uh, Nikolai's house all right, in Moscow and she nursed him well. When uh, Levin saw Kitty taking care of his brother, she be he became very much inclined towards Kitty and he loved her more than usual. Okay friends, this much for today. More MCQs will be made when there will be examination. So next day we will start with a new lesson. Till then take care. Bye bye. Have a good day.